me a shot, call me a shot. Call me a shot. Bring it out! Break the house! 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 Take not the Holy Spirit away, prayer. Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. All the prayers. Bring it out. Prayer for strength and endurance. Abu Noah. Abu Noah. Yahoo. Yahoo. So 
it's windy out here, man. We are doing the elements through the spirit of power. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Right? The scriptures say, and do all things for the elect's sake. Right? The scriptures say, do all things for the elect's sake, man. So that's what we out here doing. Out here telling the Israelites to wake up, come back onto your true nationality, being the Hebrew Israelites that the Bible speaks about. All right? Give me, um... Uh, Proverbs 15 and 27. Give me uh, Sirach 20 and 29. Come through. Come here. Come here. All right, come through. Proverbs 15 and 27. Proverbs 15, verse 27. Bring it up. He that is greedy of gain troubles his own house. He that is greedy of gain troubles his own house. And a lot of you Israelites greedy as hell, man. You worrying about your next dollar and your, your next buck. How to finesse your own brother. How to come up. Read on. But he that hateth gifts shall live. He that hateth gifts shall live. So you're supposed to hate the gifts of the government. Hate the gifts of the so-called white man. When you hate gifts, you live. Bring that out, okay? Sirach chapter 20, verse 29. Present and gifts blind the eyes of the wise. Presents and gifts blind the eyes of the wise. Right? When a man give you a present, give you a, a, a spoiling you with all these gifts, it blinds your heart, man. It perverts your judgment. Read on. And stop up his mouth. You do what? And stop up his mouth. And stop up his mouth. Read on. That he cannot, re that he cannot reprove. That's why these athletes they don't reprove, man, because they got them big deals, the big checks, and they know at any given time Esau can strip them away of their check, right? Hey, look at Delonte West, man. He used to be a best ball player, ball. He played for the Cavaliers. Now he, the guard, man. Esau then took this money. Now he on drugs. Now he all bugged out. And is the NBA reaching out to him? Like, look, let's help Delonte West. Let's do this. Let's do that. Hell nah, man. Because Esau don't give a damn about you, Israelites. You so-called blacks, Esau don't care about you. The so-called white man is your enemy. This is what you have to understand. Right? Give me um, uh, uh, Baruch uh, 3 and um, 26. Baruch 3 and 26. Baruch 4 and 26. Bring that out. Baruch 4 and 26. Baruch 4 and 26. My delicate ones. Have good rough ways. My delicate ones have gone rough ways, right? My delicate ones have gone. The delicate ones are the Israelites. Right. We have gone rough ways because what? The so-called white man put us in slavery, right? We still in slavery. Don't for one second think you free. Oh, what, emancipation proclamation. That didn't free the slaves, man. Bring it up. You still had Israelites getting lynched after that, getting uh, 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 um, tied on, on railroad tracks, ran over by the trains. You still had the white man taking your children, CPS. Right, they put uh, all these drugs in our community to destroy our nation. They put all these Planned Parenthoods in our community, right? They uh, gave our women uh, uh, independence or whatever, women liberation movement. Now the woman proud. So this, this is a, a crafty council or conspiracy to destroy our nation. That's what you have to realize. Bring it out, Ken. And we're taken away as a fuck caught of the enemy. And we're what? And we're taken away as a fuck caught of the enemy. Why are we taken away? That's all Jake want to do, man. Ride a damn car, man. As fast as he can. Right? Ain't going nowhere, man. Right? And the scriptures say don't do your own pleasure on the Sabbath day. Right? Black people the real Israelites. What's going on, brother? Yeah. Brother, you know your nationality? You know your nationality? I'm a Hebrew homie. Say it again, brother? I'm a Hebrew homie. You a Hebrew homie? I'm a, I'm a Hebrew. Hebrew homie? You know the truth? There's a music CD. Come deal with us, brother. You know you can't be spending money on the Sabbath. Hey, what up, brother? Right? Give me, uh... 
Revelation 3 15. Hey, brother, you about to break the Saturday? You said what? Brother, you going off, brother. You going off big time, brother. How you know you're a Hebrew, but you about to... That's wicked as hell, man. Hey, brother, you off, brother. Give me Revelation 3 and 15. Revelation 3 verse 15. I know thy works. Say it again, brother. Brother, you off, brother. We got to rebuke you, brother, you off, brother. You about to go break the Sabbath day, brother. And you know you're an Israelite. Bring it up. Revelation 3 verse 15. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. The Israelites, look, the Lord said, I know your works, man. You're not cold, you're not hot, you're in the middle. You got your foot in the, one foot in the world and one foot in the truth. Right. Read on. I would not work cold or hot. Look, I want you to be either cold or hot, man. You can't be in the middle, you can't be lukewarm. Read on. So then, because thou art lukewarm, thou art what? Lukewarm. Thou are lukewarm, read on. And neither cold nor hot. Neither cold nor hot, read on. I will spew thee out of my mouth. I will spew thee out of thy mouth. Cause you're not you're not cold or hot. You in the middle, man. A lot of you Israelites are middlemen, man. Right? So that's the problem with Israel. That's why the most high gotta destroy. You. And that brother can repent. Let me say that. That brother can repent. But he should make haste. Come Give me that Psalms 119 and 60. I know. Psalms 119 to 60. Psalms 119 to 60. Right. Psalm 119 to 60. Bring it up. Wow. I made haste. I did what? I, I made, made haste. haste. I made haste. So that brother has to make haste. Read on. He could have brought some gas yesterday, man. Before the Sabbat came in. Right. Read on. And delayed not to keep that commandment. And do what? And delayed not, not to keep that commandment. And delayed not to keep the commandments. So you got to make haste to keep the law, statutes, and commandments of your father. Right. This is what the Most High requires of you Israelites, man. You can't just do what you want in this truth. Right? Give me Sirach 5 and 7. Now we know brothers might fall short, but you can't be out here willfully breaking the Sabbath day, man. That's wicked as hell, man. We got to put you on blast. Right. Sirach 5 and 7, King. Sirach chapter 5 verse 7. Make no turn to turn to the Lord. Do what? Make no turn to turn to the Lord. Make no tarry to turn to the Heavenly Father, brother. Read on. And put not off from day to day. Don't put off from day to day. Give me Mark 5 and 50, 42, brother. Mark 5 and 42. Teach, teach. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come, come forth. You hear that, brother? For suddenly shall the wrath of the Most High come forth. I'm I won't go uh, back and forth with you like that because you're too many enemies out here. Brother, deal with me, brother. I'm the speaker right now. Right here, brother. talk to him. What is it? Yeah. The the bro did the brothers give you the information? Yeah. All praise. All right, so brother, you gotta, you gotta get right, brother. You know you're an Israelite, right? You know about the commandments, right? We can talk right now, brother. You got things to do on the Sabbath day? You got things to do on the Sabbath day? Yeah, I'm already teaching the work of the Lord, brother. That's all I gotta do. We about our, we about the most high business. No, I don't. I got this to do. I only got this to do today. Give me Mark five and forty two. Give me Mark five and forty two. Look at Mark the five verse forty two. This is the scripture. And the straight way the you the road and walk for a sheep. Uh, Mark uh 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 five and forty two. That's not what I want. Give me John nine and thirty one. Give me the pick of John. Up, hey, hey, brother, you lukewarm, brother. You lukewarm, brother. Brother, you lukewarm, brother. You know you're an Israelite, but you out here breaking the Sabbath day, brother. Come on now. Give me John 9 and 31. How do I break the Sabbath? I'm going to preach to you, Mr. Judge. Give me John 9 and 31. How do I break the Sabbath? Don't read. Tell me. No, I'm about to, I'm about to show no, you. No, tell me. I don't read that. John 9 and 31. You say you don't read this? I don't read that. Please you don't need the Bible? I'll Give me John 9 31. I'm going to show you. John 9 verse 31. No, we know that God here not sinners. The most high not hearing your prayers, brother, because you're in the midst of sin right now. Read on. But if any man be a worshiper of God and do of his will, him he heareth. Him he what? Him he heareth. So you got to do the will of the most high, which is keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. How old are you? 
That's neither here nor there. Give me Job 32 and 8. You can't answer my question. Give me Job. I'm going to show you how old I am. Give me Job 32 and 8. Please leave the village about respecting your elders, okay? So go back to a story. You're not an elder, brother. Give me Job 32 and 8. Nigga, you're a young brother, man. So I understand. Damn. Okay, go back to your story. I try to come to you. 32 and 8. I talk to you in private. Job chapter 32, verse 8. Why you running away from the scriptures? Come listen to the Bible. Bring it out. But there is a spirit in man. And the inspiration of the Almighty giveth them understanding. Great men are not always wise. The Lord said, Great men are not always wise. So old men are not always wise, read on. Neither do the age understand judgment. You don't understand judgment, brother. So you're not an elder, man. Come on now. How you an elder when you break the Sabbath day? That that come on, give me wisdom of Solomon 4 and 8. You ain't no elder, man. Wisdom of Solomon 4 and 8. Put me on camera. I'm gonna show you a scripture right here. Wisdom of Solomon 4 and 8. Hold post, man. Hold post, man. Mr. Summer, chapter 4, verse 8. For animal age is not which was stated in the lip of time, nor that it's measured by the number of years. Right, read it. But wisdom is the great hair of unto man. But wisdom is the great hair unto a man, read it. And an inspired life is old age. Right. So you got to have wisdom. You don't have no wisdom, brother. You don't have the fear of the Lord. You are doing right? what Give me Psalms 119 and 100. I understand more than the ancients. 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 Because I keep that precept. Because I what? Because I keep that precept. Because I keep that precept. Right? We can hear our differences without camera around. Look, give me Psalm. Give me Proverbs twenty-seven five. Do you get what I'm saying? Yes or no? No. I don't need to know the word. Give me proper, don't you don't know the word. How you know the word when you breaking the Sabbath day, brother? Name, you don't know the word, brother. Give me Proverbs 27. Brother, you, you wicked as hell. Brother, you wicked as hell, brother. Give me Proverbs 27. How did I break the Sabbath day? Answer my question. Since you know me, answer my question. What the Lord say? What the Lord say? Open rebuke is better than secret love. This is love right now because I'm rebuking you, brother. Give me songs. Give me Isaiah 58 and 13. You said you hate your brother. You said I break the Sabbath. You hate your brother. You said you hate to break the Sabbath, but you ain't told me how I did it. That's why you're a dumb nigga. You act like some dumbass homies. You put the accuser and such. You know nothing of. You don't have proof. You was a dumb nigga. You can't answer the question. Put the camera here and ask me a question. Turn away thy foot from the Sabbath. What the Lord said. Turn away thy foot from the Sabbath. That's what you do. That's what you do. Oh my holy day. Brother, did you let me spend money? Did you let me spend money? Did you let me spend money? Uh, uh, please, you brother. I didn't. This okay, you good. Uh, He's a fool. Isaiah 15 and 13. You was a fool. If thou turn thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure right. on my holy day. You out here doing your own pleasures. Read on. And call the Sabbath your delight. The holy of the Lord honorable. It shall honor him not doing thy own way. Not doing thy what? Own way. You doing your own ways. That's how you break the Sabbath, brother. You out here doing your own ways, man. Read on. No. You doing your own ways. You doing your own ways. You doing your own ways. Read on. No finding thy own pleasure. You doing what? Finding thy own pleasure. Brother, the Lord going to show you if you don't repent, brother. That's bottom line, brother. Most high going to show you if you don't repent. Repent. Hey, repent or be destroyed. Give me Luke 13 and 3. Give me Luke. Let me throw. You're not a brother. You're not an elder. You're not an elder, brother. You're not an elder. How you an elder when you breaking the Sabbath day, brother? Come on now. Give me Luke 13 and 3. Luke 13 and 3. I tell you, nay. But except you repent. Except you what? Except you repent. Except you repent from all your wickedness. Read on. These are all like my parents. You shall do what? These are all like my parents. Hey, you going to go, man. Oh, you're going to go, man. Oh, that was petty. That's petty. You proud, brother. Brother, you don't have wisdom. Wisdom is the great hell to a man. That's right. Come on, man. We just read the scripture. Wicked, bro. Wicked, bro. Come on, Joe 28, 28. How the hell are you an elder when you're breaking the Sabbath day? Oh, I ain't been no. You out here doing your own pleasures. How you go to the gas station? Come through, and come through right quick. Gas folk, bro. He lying. Give me Joe 28, 28. Yes, Wicked as hell. Yes, you a liar, the truth not in you. Joe 28, 28. Joe 28, verse 28. Yes, and unto a man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord. That is wisdom. That's wisdom, man. The fear of the Lord. Read on. To depart 
from evil is understanding. That's what it is, man. That's how you know when you were elder, when you got the wisdom. Right? You still on camera, buddy. Right? Bring it out. Bring it on. Moreover. That's it. That's it on that, right? So you got to have the wisdom, man. Right? And that's the, that's the problem with a lot of these old men. They don't got wisdom, man. Right? He out here breaking the Sabbath. That's why the Lord, man, nah, hey, give me Acts 3.19. Now I'm getting mad. Give me Acts 3.19. <clears throat> Give me Acts 3.19. Acts 3.19. Give me Acts 3.19. Acts 3.19. They got these red-ass devils, man, trying to yeah. stop the word, man. Hell out of here. Acts 3.19. Hey, brother, you got men for the Bible? I'm sorry, man. I gotta go. Brother, you can't break the Sabbath day, brother. Acts 3.19. Acts chapter 3 verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted. So you got to repent from all your wickedness, all your sins. Repent and be converted. Read on. That your sins may be blotted out. That your what? That your, that your sins, sins may be blotted out. out. That your sins may be blotted out. Repent from all your wickedness. Repent from all your sins, Israel. What sin transgression of God's laws, man? Read on. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. When the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Most High. He gonna send his son Hamashiach Yahweh to judge the world in righteousness, and all those that's wicked and abominable, they gonna get cut the hell off. Revelation twenty two and fourteen. Brothers, Revelation twenty two and fourteen. Revelation chapter twenty two, verse fourteen. Bless all they that do his commandments. Bless all they that do his law, statutes, and his commandments. That's right. Right? Keeping this, hey, we banking on that Sabbath day. Keeping the Sabbath day, man. That's what the most high want the Israelites to do. Keep the Sabbath day. Read on. That they may have right to the tree of life. That they may what? Have right to the tree of life. That they may have right to the tree of life. Man. Right? Read on. And may enter through the gates into the city. There you go, man. So we can have right to the tree of life. So we can so so we can enter in through the gates, man. Y'all can stand back on that grass, man. We ain't respecting nothing. They say we harassing the customers. Yeah, because the dog, man. So it don't even matter, man. Cause that fake bro. Bring the word out, bro. Let's tell them how they going into slavery for all this wickedness they doing. That's right. The so-called white man going to slavery, right? Not the whole police him. force going to slavery, Not man. Not only him, but the guy, the owner of this gas. The station. owner of this gas. Hey, man. Damn the owner of this gas station, man. That's right. Most high gonna flip this damn gas station and blow it the hell up, man. That's right. It's gonna be RIP to the rest and piss to this gas station, man. That's what's uh, going on. Uh. Right? Most high don't give a damn about these nations, man. These heathens. Right? The most high don't respect them, man. Give me Isaiah 40 and 17. We won't get disrespectful to these nations, man. Isaiah 40, 17. Bring it out. Bring it out. Wicked ass nations, man. Wicked ass two thirds, man. Isaiah the 40, verse 17. All nations before him are as nothing. All nations before him are as nothing. Right, so the owner of this gas station, he ain't nothing to the most high, man. That's right. right. Straight up and down. Sitting up there calling the cops on us, man. Hey, brother. Read on. And they are counted to him less than nothing and vanity. Less than what? Less than nothing and vanity. So they less than nothing. They vanity, man. So damn him, man. We're going to move on to our people, man. Israelites. Right? Because that's what we out here for, man. It's just vexing, man. You got these devils calling the cops on us, man. You got wicked Jake. It's all vexing to the Lord, man. Right? That's why the most I say he coming back with fire with his chariots like a whirlwind. To render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Most I send this son Yahweh shot back with fury, man. What's furious, man? That's worse than anger. That's wrath. That's blood. Your end result is kill, man. <laughs> I can't fury, wait. Man. Yeah, we, we can Jake when he goes tell him that we are wrath. Also, the wicked fake brew. That's crazy. Right? The wicked so fake brew, man. Yeah, he, he, told, he told on the Israelites. <laughs> he told on the Israelites. He told on the Israelites. He told on the Israelites. Yeah, he ran the Esau. He ran the Esau. Pause up right quick. 
for that respect the elder call. He ain't the elder. Yeah. That's what it is. Give me first John three and ten. First John three and ten. <laughs> first John, it's okay, man. This gas station gonna get blown to hell. It's gonna be R.I.P. Right? And Wicked Jake gonna be destroyed, man. First John three and ten. First John chapter three. It's not first John. First John in the back. First, first John chapter 3 verse 10. In this the children of God are manifest. So the children of God are being made manifest. Read on. And the children of the devil. And the what? And the children of the devil. And the what? And the children of the devil. Children of the devil, man. Right, these Edomites. Teacher. These Ishmaelites. Right, and wicked Jake, man. Teacher. The children of the devil. We know. Whosoever doeth not righteousness. Whosoever doeth what? Whosoever doeth not righteousness. Whosoever doeth not righteousness, not keeping the commandments, not honoring the Sabbath day. We know. It's not of God. What? It's, it's not, not of God. God. It's what? It's not of God. It's not of the Most High Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Give me John 8 and 44. So you got a lot of children of the devils out here, man. Of the court. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bring it up. Neither he that loveth not his brother. Neither what? Neither he that loveth not his brother. And that brother he ain't love me, man. He's like, you a nigga. You a nigga. <laughs> That's what he said. Yeah. He wanted to get carnal, did he? He wanted to get carnal, man. <laughs> he wanted to snap my neck. Bring it up. John A forty four. John 8 verse 44. I can be feminine. You are of your father. That was effeminate. He could have came over here like, yeah, brother, I know I'm breaking the Sabbath. Can you help me? But he got proud. He got proud, man. And pride go up before destruction. John 8 44. John 8 44. You are of your father the devil. Yeah, what? You are your father the devil. Yeah, of your father the devil. Read on. And the less of your father you will do. And he was a murderer from the beginning. He was a what? He was a murderer from the beginning. He was a murderer from the beginning. Right, read on. And abode not in the truth. Right, who was a murderer from the beginning? Cain, man. Huh? Because Cain slew Abel. Right, give me that uh, Genesis 4 and 8. Cain slew Abel. Esau slew Jacob. Genesis 4 and 8. And Cain told with Abel his brother. Right. And Cain to pass. When they were in the field, that Cain rose up against Abel. Cain did what? Rose up against Abel. That's what a lot of you brothers, you Israelites do. You rise up against your brother. You shoot your brother. You kill your brother. You hate your brother. Read on. And slew. And did what? And slew. And did what? And slew. Cain slew Abel. His own blood brother. Same father, same mother. And he killed them. Right? That's wicked as hell, man. Bring it on. And the Lord said unto Cain, Where is Abel thy brother? He said, I know not. He did what? I know not. So he lied to the most high. He said, I know not. Read on. Am I my brother's keeper? So he got smart with the most high. Am I my brother's keeper? I'm supposed to know where he at. Read on. And he said, What hast thou done? The voice of the, thy brother's blood cried unto me from the ground. And now art thou cursed from the earth. Art thou what? Cursed from the earth. Hey, that's Esau. He cursed from the earth, man. Right? Because Cain is Esau. Esau is Cain. You have to is to hear. Right? Read on. In Satan, which had opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from the, thy hand. Read on. When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. Right? A future. And a vagabond. A what? A fugitive and a vagabond. A fugitive and a vagabond. Read on. Shalt thou be in the earth. And who is the vagabond on the earth? The so-called white man. He has no resting place, man. That's why he go to these different nations and take their land. Because he has no heritage. It, say, it tell you that, Malachi 1 and 1. Read on. And the king said unto the Lord, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Behold, thou hast driven me out of this day. From the face of the earth, and from the thy face shall I be hid, and I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth. That's the so-called white man. He's a criminal work walking the earth. Read on. 
and it shall come to pass that every one that findeth me shall slay me. And the Lord said unto him, Therefore, whosoever slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. That's right. That's why ain't nobody really taking out the Edomites right now, because it's not their time. The Most High Yahweh shall get that glory. Right? We don't. And the Lord set a mark upon Cain. Lord did what? Set a mark upon Cain. And that mark is the mark of leprosy. Right? He, he cursed his melanin pigmentation. He took it away from him. He set that mark on him. He spit in his face. Read him. Lest any finding him should kill him. That's right. And, and who was cursed with that mark? Give me Genesis 25 and 23. Five or twenty-three. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb. Two nations are the Edomites and Israelites in Rebecca's womb. Read on. And two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. We two manner of people, we nothing like the so-called white man. We better than them. Right? We we don't have the same spirit. They like to go jogging. Right, and, and they like to go jogging in uh, 30 degree weather with shorts on. That's what they like. No shirt. Read on. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. What? And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. Y'all come hear the word, man. Come hear the word. Y'all come listen, man. Come listen to y'all nationality. And y'all Israelites, y'all God chosen people, right? You a king walking the earth, brother. You a king walk walking the earth. Know you was a king. Y'all know y'all was kings, man. Give me Deuteronomy twenty eight and sixty eight. I'm gonna show y'all something. Right Come here. and listen, chill, post up with us. Man. You ain't gotta do nothing. It's seven. Twenty eight and sixty eight. It's seven. Watch you this, ain't gotta brother. do nothing. Seven. Come chill Bring with this us. Watch this. Romans chapter 28 verse 68. Hey, what's y'all nationality? Y'all know y'all nationality? Huh? What's y'all race? I'm black. Don't start with us. Black? All right. Hey, y'all, listen to this. Bring it up. Romans chapter 28 verse 68. Hey, bro. You know your nationality? You know your nationality? You know your race? Your race? African American? Right? I'm gonna show y'all that y'all Israelites out the Bible. We God chosen people. Right? 2860. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. This is what Egypt means. Give me that. Look at Exodus 20, verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So Egypt made slavery. Hey, y'all gotta listen, man. Egypt made eight. Hey, y'all listening? Egypt made slavery. Right? How did our forefathers get to America? By a boat, right? Bring it up. Deuteronomy 28 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Made a slavery again. Hey, bro, what's your name? LJ. Hey, bro, put right. this so CD in. Bring the Israelites put this CD in. Again. Put that CD in there, boy. Yeah. With what? With ships. With what? With ships. With ships. That's how we got to America with cargo slave ships. Read on. By the way, where have I expected to be? Thou shalt see it no more again. Right. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. We were sold to our enemies, the so called white man. Read on. For bond men and bond women. Right. And no man shall buy you. And no man shall re redeem you out your captive. So y'all Israelites, man. Y'all God chosen people. Right? Y'all got to repent, keep the commandments. Right? And y'all Israelites too, man. Y'all God chosen people, man. So you know, Jake, you know, stiff. No, hey. stiff neck. Hey. Hey. Stiff neck, man. Right? 
Give me uh, Matthews 11 and 16. The oldest ones ain't one here, man. Matthews 11 and 16. What's all Jake worried about, man? Matthew 11 and 16. For so what up to still I like in this generation, right? It is like a children sitting in the market. You like it to what? It's like a children sitting in the market. They call it unto their fellows. Right. And saying, we have piped unto you, and ye have not danced. We have been what? We have piped unto you, and ye have not danced. We out here singing a spiritual song to the Israelites. But they ain't dancing, man. They hopping in the Right? You know, Jake just, his attention span, man. Read on. We have more unto you, and ye have not lamented. Right? For, for John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say, he hath a, a devil. Read on. The son of man came eating and drinking, and they say, behold, a man gluttonous, and a wine bibble. They call you house shot what? A wine bibble. Gluttonous and wine paper, man. So that's what they call us, man. They say, where y'all jobs at? Y'all niggas must have just got out of jail. That's what they say to us, man. Right? We actually heard these things before. Right? <laughs> Read on. A friend of publicans and sinners. What? A friend of publicans and sinners. Read on. But wisdom is justified of her children. Right? So I was justified, man, because he had wisdom. He had the knowledge and the understanding, man. Right? So all praises to Yahweh, man. Right? All right, brother. The big kid's 1930. All right. We both black men. We got white people out here trying to kill us both. Before you ever judge me or assume that I did something, you ask me a direct nine. question. Brother, I come out of the scriptures, brother. The scriptures say judge. I ask you a question. The scriptures say judge, brother. Ask you a question. How did I break the Sabbath? You won't give me no answer. Because you out here, I did give you an answer. You out here doing your own pleasures, brother. You supposed to be out. Listen, you supposed to be. Listen, you supposed to be. My pleasure is talking to you. I'm telling you that. So I'm breaking Can I talk, brother? Can I talk, brother? My pleasure is talking to you. Read Proverbs 31 and 9. Proverbs 31, verse 9. Open thy mouth, judge righteous. The Lord say, Open thy mouth, judge righteous. So we got to judge righteously. So you can't say I can't. Hold up. I did, did I say that? Did I say that? No, I didn't. How was your pleasure talking to me when you went off on me and called me a nigga? How was your pleasure talking to me? You called me a nigga and you went off on me, brother. Right, and I accept your apology, but you got to, you can't break the Sabbath day, brother. No, listen, you can't, listen, you can't, listen, listen, brother, can I talk, brother, can I talk, no, listen, brother, listen, brother, listen, give me Leviticus 19 and 15. Did you read the scripture said by doing my own pleasure, and I said my pleasure is to talk to you, and then you said, don't do your own pleasure. You play magic, brother. No, no, see. You play magic, brother. Huh? You can't be out here doing your own thing. You got to be, listen, you, listen, you got, no. My thing is to talk to you, and you listen, said that's breaking seven. Listen, you can't listen buy a sale. Listen, bro. you can't buy a sale. You can't buy a sale on the Sabbath day. You can't buy and sell on the Sabbath day. Okay. That's how you, that's how you broke the Sabbath. I didn't buy or sell. You didn't buy and sell? No. Okay, brother. I want to come to the day Yeah, what you, what you come to the guys this week? Huh? Why I come back? Yeah, what you what you come here in the first place for? Why I come back in the first place? I came here because I talked to this part. I've known this guy. I've talked to him all the time. But you know what? You talked to who? I'm going to tell you the truth. When I saw you like, yeah, so your brother trying to keep the Sabbath child free. Right. I, I was respecting him like he came to judge Middle West. That's, you, that's what brother, you was breaking the Sabbath day. No, 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 no. Give me Leviticus 19, 15. Leviticus is the 19, no, verse 15. You don't know nothing. So, 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 do you teach the Bible? Do you teach the Bible? I teach the Bible. Why, why, you you why, why you not out here? Why you not out here? Why you not out here? Why you not out here teaching the Bible? Give me Luke 14 and 23. So you going off because you're not out here teaching the Bible. No, I'm telling my man right here. You got the Bible? Hey, brother, you got a feminine spirit on you, brother. You got a feminine spirit on you, brother. I got what? A feminine spirit, brother. No, you got a feminine spirit. 
Yeah, 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 brother, you you acting out of emotion right now, brother. I actually read 1932. You we, brother, we'll get to it, brother. But you gotta, look, brother. First of all, you can't break the Sabbath day. That's first and foremost. And you gotta have on fringes. Hey, brother, you gotta have on fringes. You gotta get some fringes. You gotta, you gotta get some uh, fringes. Brother, you proud, brother? Brother, you got to get fringes, brother. Are you going to get fringes, yes or no? What? Are you going to get fringes? See? There you go. Give me numbers 15 to 32. Read You read it. Numbers 15 to 32. You want me to hear it? You got to hear it? Come on. Let's bring out this scripture first. Numbers 15 to 32. Numbers. Chapter 15, verse 32. Oh, the and while the children of Israel were in the wilderness, they found a man that gathered sticks upon the Sabbath. So this man was working on the Sabbath day. Right? This man was going to the, Hey, this man was going off. Read on. And, and they that found him gathering sticks brought him unto Moses and Aaron right. and unto all the congregation. And they put him in ward because it was not declared what should be done to him. Read on. And the Lord said to Moses, the man shall surely be put to death. The what? The man, the man shall, shall surely, surely be put, put to, to death. death. So this man got put to death for breaking the Sabbath day. Read on. All the congregation shall stone him with stones. Shall do what? Shall stone him with stones. Shall stone this man with stones. Right? For breaking the Sabbath day. Read on. Without the cap. Read on. And all the congregation brought him without the cap and stone him with stones. And he died as the Lord commanded Moses. That's right. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel right. and bid them that they make the fringes and the borders of their garments. That's why every brother out here has on fringes. Read on. Throughout their generations, and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. So on our fringe, we got the ribbon of blue. On our fringes, read on. And shall be unto you for a fringe. They may look upon it. They may do what? Look upon they it. They may look upon it. Read on. And remember all the commandments of the Lord. And remember all the commandments of the Lord. And do them. And do what? And do them. Read on. And that you seek not after your own heart and your own eyes, after which you used to go to a whore. So this is why you have to put on fringes so you can remember to keep the commandments. Huh. See, on the Sabbath day, you can't just be out here riding around and going to gas stations. and You can't do that, brother. There should be no movement on the Sabbath day unless you're coming out here teaching the word. That's right. Come, come. See that? All praises. Brother, did you, brother, did you understand that? You, you, you said, well, I the word. I, hey, listen. Hey, brother, did you understand that? I'm a fool for the Lord, for the Most High. You preach the word. That's what I do, homie. Give me James one twenty-two. That's what I do. Look, I'm a preach the word. The James one twenty-two. Give me James one twenty-two. Leviticus 19.32. Hold up. Step back, brother. Step back. Step back, though, brother. Step back, though, brother. Come on now, brother. I won't touch. I respect it. Don't touch me. I won't touch y'all. But you can't come all up in my space, though, brother. in your space. This guy says it's a free spot. Leviticus 19.32. Hey, man, watch him, man, because he got a rowdy spot on him, man. Leviticus 19.32. I ain't listening. You can talk to me because nobody else can talk to you. Leviticus 19.32. You should ride before the gray header, and I am the presence of an old man, and fear God, I am the Lord. Okay, that's the bill of 1932. You gotta respect the space. You don't know respect the space. I 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 respect the space. Man, come on. <laughs> Let's keep the word going out. Man, he ain't scared of nothing, man. Let's keep the word down loud, man. Give me James 122. Hey, hold on, hold on. Let's keep the order. Let's keep the order. Hey, brother, can we just keep order, brother? Can we just keep order? We'll keep order. All right, we're keeping the order. All right, all right, all right. James 122. We don't we'll, 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 we'll touch nobody, nobody touch us. That's how we're going to do it, man. James 122. I'll touch you. I'll be out here, bro. James 122. Hold on, hold on. I'm not going to interrupt this scripture, but answer this question. But I got to bring the scripture out first, brother. No, answer this question for me. What's your question? What's your question, brother? What's your question? What is your purpose to get out here? 
I'm about to show you. Give me no, Luke 14 and 23. Don't, don't no, I'm going to go to the Bible. No. No, it, it, it right here. It's right here. It's right here in the Bible. Luke 14 and 23. Why you don't want to hear the Bible? No, I want to hear your words. I want to hear your heart. I can't speak my own words, brother. I got to come thus saith the Lord. Nope, it's not. I got to go thus saith the Lord. Luke 14 and 23. Luke to so, the 14, so verse 23. Here, but, but, but God and the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and the hedges. You gotta go out into the highways and byways, read on. And compare them to come in, that my house may be filled. Right. So we gotta hold up, we gotta wake up the Israelites. That's what we're doing. We out here waking up the Hebrew Israelites. Right? Give me some rock four and nine. Give me some rock four and nine. That's neither here nor there, brother. That's neither here nor there. But I'm but I'm 21. I'm 21. I'm I'm 21. Right. But what does that have to do with anything? I'm not a black man, brother. Okay. We Israelites. Yeah, you could call me a Hebrew brother. Hebrew brother, young Hebrew brother to old Hebrew brother. Right. Young Hebrew brother, this is why I did it like this right here, pointing at me. Don't show this clip. You know, you know why it shows, it makes it look like, it makes like, to the world look like two niggas, uh, two niggas actually. Oh, this is my brother, no, get that But get that's my brother, I got it. Right. No, this, what, did this word not for him? Can I say something? Can I say something? First of all, this, hold up, brother. Let me say something. First of all, can I teach? All right. Can I talk, brother? Because I'm older, I use a lot of different terminology. All right, can I talk, brother? But you know what? But respect your elders because you don't know me. But brother, brother, you're not an elder, brother. You're not an elder, brother. Because you don't have wisdom. You don't have wisdom. I got it, brother. Because you don't have wisdom. I know you. You know, yeah, but age don't make you no elder, man. Hold on, I got it, brother. Age is maturity. Age is maturity. Age is maturity. Let me teach you. Give me some rock for now. Just let me teach you. Age is step back a little bit, bro. Age is maturity. 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 Age Sirach 4 and 9. Sirach to the 4, verse 9. Deliver him that suffer wrong from the hand of the oppressor. And be not faint hearted when thou sittest in judge. What the Lord say? And be not faint hearted when thou sittest in judge. We got to come out here bold like lions. You could be an elder brother, but I still still got to tell you that you're going off. I still got to tell you that you're in wickedness. Right? It don't. Yeah, brother, I do know it. Right, I do know it. Give me uh, give me Matthew 7 to 15. What is your purpose? Because I don't want this coming at me. Matthew 7.15. I mean, I'm stepping away, but I'm not trying to get you straight. I'm telling you right now. You understand that? I hear you, brother. You understand that? Matthew 7.15. I'm probably saying people look like you and me. Well, true, not Hebrews who are lost in the mind. Get the story about this. Let, let me just ask you something, brother. Let me ask you something. Where your beard at? Where my beard at? Yeah. My beard? I don't have no beard. Why don't you have a beard? Because I don't like my beard. I don't like you. Give me Leviticus 21 and 5. This don't grow like that. This don't grow like that. Give me Leviticus 21 and 5. 21 and 5 about. So you talk about outer appearances a lot. Let's see what God says. You believe in God? You believe in God? Yeah. But do you believe in God? Yeah. Do you believe in God? 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 Yeah. I know God. I know y'all. You know y'all? I know y'all. Give me Leviticus 21 and 5. I know y'all. Leviticus 21 and 5. They shall not make bondage upon their head. Right. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. What God say? Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. So you can't shave off the corner of your beard, brother. Well, you got to grow what you can grow, according to God. And you said you know the most high. Give me First John 2 and 3. First John chapter 2, verse 3. You, know? you said you know y'all? First John 2 and Hereby we do know it up. First John chapter 2 verse 3 And hereby we do know That we know him If we keep his commandments The Lord say read it again And hereby we do know that we know him This is how we know that we know the most high When we do what? If we keep his commandments If we keep his commandments If we keep his commandments, we keep his commandments. Read on. 
You that saith I know who. He that saith I know y'all. Read on. And keep you not his commandments. It doesn't have a beard on his face. Read uh -huh. on. It's a liar. It's a what? It's, it's a, a liar. Come. It's, it's a liar. liar. Brother, you a liar. I'm a liar? Yeah. So, you a liar, brother. Like Read on. And the truth is not in him. And the what? And the truth is not in him. Truth not in you, brother. Nope. First John five and three. First John five and three. I have a beard on my face. Yeah, I have a beard on my face, so I can judge you on that. First John five and three. First John to the Bible is three. For this is the love of God. The Lord saying, For this is the love of God. The Lord saying, For this is the love of God. This is the love of God. Read on. That we, that we keep his commandments. We do what? That we keep his commandments. We do what? That we keep his commandments. Keep, keep the commandments. Read on. And his commandments are not grievous. How much money did you know? And his what? And his commandments are not grievous. And his what? And his commandments are not grievous. But you can't. But you can't. But you can't be all up in my. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. Read on. But you, but you, are, but you are my face, though, brother. But you are my face, brother. Come on, brother. Just scoot cool back a little, brother. Brother, just scoot cool back, brother. Why are you getting like this, brother? Brother, you your hands and all this, brother. Come on, man. Do you want to talk to me? You want to talk to me? I'm talking to you. Okay, step over here and talk. No, you step there. over there and I'm gonna talk. Go to, to your car, okay, bro. You, talk there. you can't keep stepping up on the brother, man. Why you teach you? We asked you the first I'm time to step back. But come on, brother, this school like back a little bit, bro. Right? You, 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 you teach the Bible. If you think all this is too close to me, I respect that. Y'all step back. Too well, close you, well, that's what I'm saying, bro. You you a little bit too close. It don't matter. But you step back. I want to step on your side. You can step back right here. Yeah, can you step back on the grass a little bit? Can you step on the grass, brother? Nah, brother. Come on, brother. Can you step back on the grass just a little bit, brother? I'm not getting frustrated, brother, but come on. You got to have some respect, brother. Because when I called you a liar, you, you, you stepped up an inch, brother. Come on, man. <laughs> yes, brother. I apologize. I did. I apologize. My hand I did apologize. Okay, is that cool? It just seems like you're getting cut by the word of God, brother. That's what it is, brother. You... All right. First job, five and three. You ain't got that. First job, five verse three. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. That we do what? That we keep his commandments. That we do what? That we keep his commandments. That we do what? That we keep his commandments. So you're not, brother, let me, let me say this. Let me say this. You're not keeping the commandments, brother. So you don't love God. Let me... Hold up, no, but the scripture gotta come out. Hold up. Hold up, yo, brother. Come on. Alright, alright. Come on, man. First John 5 and 3. First John chapter 5, verse 3. For this is the love of God. That we keep his commandments. Do what? That we keep his commandments. That we keep his commandments. That's how you know when you love God when you keep the commandments. So right now you don't love God because you're not keeping the commandments. Yeah, you don't have a beard on your face, or you don't have fringes, right? Read on. And his commandments are not grievous. For whosoever is born of God overcometh the world, and this is the victory that overcometh the world. Read John 14, 15. Nah, I don't, don't talk to him. Don't talk to him. You're talking to me right now. You're talking to me right. We got order, bro. Amazon. Amazon.com. Yep, you can order you some fringes. Yep. John 14 and 15. John 14 and 15. Supposed to wear them every day. Yeah. Well, look. John 14 and 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. The Lord said, if you love me, keep my commandments. You love the most high? Do you love God? No, I'm asking you, do you? You know you don't. That's why you're saying that. John 14 and 15. John 14 and 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. Let the most high keep his commandments. You let the most high get you some friends. You let it if you let the most high grow your beard. Right. You know. And I will pray. And I will pray to Father. And he shall give you another comfort. Ecclesiastes 12 13. Yo, right. chill, police out. Ecclesiastes 12 13. Ecclesiastes 12 13. 
talking to you, brother. I'm explaining to you, and you keep talking, you, brother. The thing, the thing with you is, you hard headed, brother. And you and you talking there, brother. You talking too much, brother. See, a wise man would hear it. A wise man, you don't respect me as a man, brother, because I'm out here teaching. Listen, you're not, brother. We already explained to you how you're not an elder. And you're not my elder. Okay, Ecclesiastes 12, 13. Ecclesiastes 12, 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. Fear the most high and keep his commandments. Read them. For this is the whole duty of man. This is the what? For this is the whole duty of man. This is the whole duty of man. Fear the most high, keep his command. See, he move when Esau say move. Nah, Jake, you move when the what? You move when the white man say move. You move, yes, you do do that. You move when the white man say move. <laughs> See that? See that? Wow. Go, 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 Wow. Back we ought to obey the most high rather than men. Uh, Give me Acts 5.29. Acts 5.29. Acts 5.29. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's a damn shame, man. That's a damn shame. Say, you move, you move. We tell you move to give us a hard time. Because you a cool, brother. Let me ask Brad 29. Acts 29, verse 29. Then Peter said, We ought to obey God rather than men. We ought to obey the most high rather than men. So he wasn't obeying the most high word, man. But when Esau say, look, come, move your car. Get up out of here. He do it, man. Without no problem, no hesitation. The most high manifested that. The most high <laughs> <laughs> Bring it up. Oh. God, what is happening? How we shine whom he slew and hang from the tree. You right. have God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior. For to give repentance to Israel. For to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sin. Now give me John 19 and 14. Right? See, hey, there you have it, man. I, our people hate us, man. He got an evil eye toward his brother. But see, when Esau come and tell you move, you move. No problem, no hesitation. He, he Yeah, he, he gone, man. <laughs> he ain't mine. They ain't even have to say it twice. They just put the finger, like. <laughs> uh-huh. He said, yes, sir. Massa. All right? Yeah. Yes, yes Massa. Yeah, and he gave him space. He gave him yeah. the utmost respect. So, hey, bro, why you kick rocks when the white man told you to? Uh, right? John 1914. But you move, but you move for him though. But you move for him. I don't want to interfere with y'all doing no more. I know you try to do something positive. I'm standing back here like you asked me to do. All right. Now you now. Yeah, now you're doing it because the cops right there. Now you can talk, man. Now you can talk. No, I'm doing because you were right. I was blocking the pumps. I wasn't talking no gas. But you move for him though. We told you move numerous of times. <laughs> and you moved, and all he had to tell you was one time, and you gave him the I'm utmost not, respect because your God is the white man. Right. I'm not trying to, no, my God is the most high. Nah, your God is the white man, brother. The Bible says respect the laws of the land. Respect the laws of your authority. I was blocked up in the room. But you, but you got to respect your brother, too. We asked you to give us space. You didn't want to give us space. I gave you space, man. Brother, you was all up in our grill, brother. I was there the white man came, and you, and you gave him the utmost respect. Yeah, you could have told him, look, you can wait. Yeah, okay, okay then, okay, because you're scared of the white man. Yes, you is, brother. You could have said, look, I'm getting gas. Hold up. Give me John 19 14. Bring it out, bring it out. John 19 14. Bring it out. And it was the preparation of the Passover in about the six hours. But you want to make me your subject right now. Yeah, yeah. You want to make me a subject? I said I would talk to you private. And bump up, okay? Bump up, stuff with it. Bump up, stuff with it. Yeah, well, they cried out. Hey, we talking about the Bible. Crucify him. They trying to do it. Let's see what you do. 
Shot piece of fire king. You know your Israelite, right? The chief okay. priest okay. answered. You know we that. have no king but Caesar. What they, what they say? Like we have no king but Caesar. We have no king but Caesar, man. Yeah, That's what they say. Okay. Right? What's going on, bro? You know your nationality? What's the like? Huh? Hey, All crazy, brother. Can we talk yeah, we got a YouTube channel. You gotta get your spirit right, brother. Yeah. See that? But, brother, you're an Israelite. We God chosen people, man. But you understand that we God chosen people? We the Israelites? Twenty eight to sixty eight. No, I mean yes or no. Yeah, I can understand that, brother. I want I want somebody to see like uh Hebrew unity for one time. Right. I want to try to show you I understand the trying to do something good. I understand what older older guy you right. older guy you know what I'm saying? Right. Right. But I want to see somebody that's gonna be able to see the truth and not be like the Pharisees and the Sadducees and all that. Right. 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 Uh, realize you need to realize. Right, realize right, you right, 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 yep. There's a lot of other people need to, need to know that too. Right. I'm disrespecting any of y'all out here because this is what somebody told me. I'll take the man to apologize. I apologize. Every last one of y'all. Alright, brother. I apologize. We accept that's, that's your apology, brother. Do. That's what a man do. Alright. But well, you still got to keep the Sabbath day. Right, you gotta, you gotta keep the commandments. You know, get your fringes. Have I ever broke the Sabbath? Yeah. Have me and God ever spoke about that? Yeah. Do I, do I live to keep the Sabbath to keep God all clear? God said, "Yes." Why? Because I'm a minister. You know what the Bible says about ministers? He should, uh, uh, he should receive a stricter judgment. Give me uh, Hebrews ten twenty six. He said, uh, uh, "A minister should receive, should receive a stricter judgment." What does the word minister mean? What the minister means? Yeah. One who starts to teach the word of God. A minister is a servant, brother. A servant, yeah. So you got to learn to serve. Teach. Serve your brothers by keep by teaching them the commandments, by teaching them the laws and the statutes. Okay, but you can't teach right anyone now. if you're not doing it. Exactly. So you can't be a minister, brother. Exactly. Bring it up. Hebrews 10 26. Hebrews 10 and 26. For if we I sin willfully, we do what? If we sin willfully, we do what? If we sin willfully, we sin willfully, read on. After that, we have received the knowledge. Of the truth, there remain no more sacrifices for sin. You can't sin willfully, brother. You can't be out here just breaking the Sabbath day and profaning the Sabbath right. day, right? You Read right. on. I might go disagree. We gonna we gonna stick to the scripture. We're, we're but a certain fifth right. looking right. for right. for of judgment right. and fiery indignation, which shall devour the adversaries. For he that despises Moses' law died without world mercy world. under two or three witnesses. Of how much sower punishment suppose ye shall he be sloppy. For he shall be taught worthy who had trodden underfoot the Son of God and have counted the blood of the covenant wherewith he sanctified an unholy thing and has done despite had the spite unto the spirit of grace. So, hey, brother, what about you, brother? You know your nationality? Uh, no, no, no. Oh, praises. So, yeah, brother, you're an Israelite, God chosen people, right? Give me Deuteronomy 28 to 68. Let's break it down to you. All right? No. Deuteronomy 28 to 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So this is the Lord speaking to the Israelites. This is a curse that fell upon our nation for breaking the commandments. Give me um Exodus 20 and 2. This is what Egypt means. Because the Lord said I'm going to bring the Israelites back into Egypt. Hold up, brother. Hold up. No, no hold up. Hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up, brother. Exodus this book, 20. This book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 2. You know, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of the house of bondage. What is Egypt? Out of the house of bondage. So Egypt represents the house of bondage. Another word for bondage is slavery. So the Lord saying Egypt means slavery, right? And go back to that. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. 
and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Slavery again, read on. With ships. What? With, with ships. ships. With cargo slave ships. That's how we got to America, with cargo slave ships. That's in the Bible. Read on. By the way, where have I spake to thee? Thou shall see it no more again. Never seen our homeland as a collective whole. What's our homeland? Nope. Give me Galatians 426. Right? It's not Africa. Right? Give me Galatians 426. We're going to show you what our homeland is. Bring it out. Look at Galatians chapter 4 and verse 26. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. Jerusalem is the motherland, right? We from Israel, Jerusalem. You understand? Now we fled into Africa in 70 AD, fleeing Roman persecution. Right? When the Romans came and ransacked Israel, the Most High told us to go into Africa and blend in with the Hermetic nations because they dark skinned race just like us. But we're not the same. It's a difference between Hebrews and Africans. See? And go back to that. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With ships, read on. By the way, wherever I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Read on. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. Sold unto your what? Your enemies. Sold to who? And we got off those ships. What people? White. Huh? White. The so-called white man. The Caucasians. The Edomites. They Edomites according to the scriptures. That's their God given nationality. So we were sold to these people and the Lord called them our enemies. Read on. For bond men. Slave men. And bond women. Slave women. And no man shall bite you. No man shall redeem you out that captivity. Not Martin Luther King, not Marcus Garvey, not Khalid Muhammad, not Malcolm X. None of these black leaders delivered us out of slavery. Because we still going through it, brother. We still going through hell. Trials, tribulations, affliction. Read on. 20, Deuteronomy 29 and 1. These are the words of the covenant which the Lord commanded Moses to make with the children of Israel. With who? The children, children of Israel. Children of Israel. That's who we are, brother. The people in the sign, the 12 tribes of Israel, that's who we are, brother. Because we fit that curse. Slavery or slave ships sold to our enemies. It's the Bible prophesying about our slavery. Right? Give me um 28 and 47. Bring that up. Deuteronomy 28 and 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies. Serve your what? Serve thy enemies. Now we got to serve our enemies. The so-called white man. The Arab man. The Africans. The Chinese. The Japanese. Read on. Which the Lord shall send against thee and hunger. And hunger. So when you hungry, what food stores do you go to? Local grocery stores. Exactly. Owned by the fake Jews, right? Owned by the, the white man, the, 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 the Chaldeans, the, um, what, uh, the, the, the Chinese man, the Arabs, East Indians. All these stores are owned by other nations. So we got to go to them when we hungry. You know? Where are we at? And then thirst. And thirst, same thing with water. Read on. And then nakedness. Same thing with the clothes on your back. Whether it's Nike, whether it's uh, H&M or... Uh, Adidas or you know what I'm saying we got to go to our nations we got to go to these other nations brother read on and in one of all, all things. things and in one of all things a birth certificate social security license registration passport we got to go to our enemies to get these things it's a curse brother read on and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck he shall do what and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck in slavery we had yokes of iron upon our neck Right, we watch all these slave movies to show you how people have a yokes of iron upon their neck, getting their backs beaten in. Right? These are curses that fell upon our neck. We are the children of Israel, brother. Right? Read on. Until he has destroyed you. And we destroyed that. Look at our people, man. Destroyed. We on alcohol, we on drugs, we killing each other, we selling dope, we doing this, we doing that. That's a destroyed nation. Read on. The Lord shall sit, shall bring a nation against thee from far. From the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle fly. What's the symbol of America? A, bu a bird, right? A bald eagle. What the Lord say? The Lord shall bring a nation against me from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle fly. As swift as the eagle fly. Let's talk about America. Read on. A nation whose tongue thou shall not understand. We didn't understand that language, man. Read on. A nation of fierce countenance, which shall not regard the person of the old. 
nourish you, favor to the young. They have favor to our old men, to our young men. That's right. Right? They had the old men in uh, yokes and iron upon their neck. They was no, come on, no. Back, come on, no. They was, they was uh, uh, killing our children, right? Throwing our children to alligators down there in Florida. These are the, the, the things that happen to us. These are curses. Read on. And he shall eat the fruit of thy cattle and the fruit of thy land right. until thou be destroyed. And right, and we don't got no more land, brother. Our land is Israel, but you got the nations over there polluting our land. Right. They took our gold, they took our silver, they took up all everything. Our trees, our land, our fruits, everything, brother. Our cattle. Read on. Which also shall not leave thee either corn, wine, or oil, or the increase of thy kind, or flocks of thy sheep. Until you have destroyed thee. And think about it. Every other nation got a land they can go to, right? They got a government. They got a military. Who our military? What's our government, brother? Read on. Got it. And he shall besiege thee and all thy gates right. until thy high and fixed walls come down. This is talking about 70 AD, right? They besieged Jerusalem. Read on. Wherein thou trustest throughout all thy land. And he shall besiege thee and all thy gates throughout all thy land. And the Romans did this to us. And the Romans were so-called white people. Right? Read on. Which the Lord thy God hath given thee. And thou shalt eat the fruit of thy own body, the flesh of thy sons and of thy daughters. This happened in 70 AD. This, it was a famine in the land. And our people was actually eating their own children. That's all, all the gruesome things that happened to our nation, brother. Right? These are curses. Give me verse 54. Verse 54. So that the man that's tender among you right. and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother. His what? His eyes shall, shall be, be evil, evil toward, toward his brother. What people got an evil eye toward their brother? Right? What people want to kill their brother, rob their brother, take from him, take his woman? Right? Our people. This is the same spirit that we have. Read on. And toward the wife of his bosom. Right. And toward the remnant of his children. And he will have an evil eye toward his children, which he shall do what? Which he shall leave. Don't stay away. Which he shall leave. Who known for leaving their children? Our people, brother. These are curses. Read on. Verse 5. So that he will not give to any of them of the flesh of his children. Let's sit on that. So these are curses that fell upon our nation. Give me verse 25. Yep. Verse 25. The Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thy enemy. The Lord shall cause you to be smitten, which means to be killed before your enemies. Who been killed before their enemies? Right? Who been shot by these police on the... What? The brother just got shot. Ahmaud Aubrey. He got shot for jogging. They killed him. Right? Tamir Rice. Sandra Bland. Eric Gardner. Mike Brown. Philando Castile. Emmett Till. Kendrick Johnson. Trayvon, Trayvon Martin. The list goes on, brother. We be out here naming names all day. The Lord shall cause you to be killed before your enemies, God. Thou shalt go out one way against them, and flee seven ways before them, right. and shall be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth. Right, because when we went in slavery, we were split up. Right? Jamaica's our people. Right? Haitians our people, but we all split up. They on different islands. We in here in America. See that? And bring that out, King. Zechariah chapter 11 verse 5 Who possesses slavery and hold themselves not guilty Our possessors they kill us and they hold themselves not guilty Read on And they that sell them say Blessed be the Lord for I am rich When they sold us in slavery they was like blessed be the Lord Right? That's when they established their Christianity And our people still follow Christianity That's the religion that slaves you Right? Read on and their own shepherds pity them not. And their own shepherds pity us not. Who our shepherds? Who our so-called leaders? Is it Al Sharpton? Is it T.D. Jakes? Is it Jesse Jackson? Come on. These, 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 these leaders have failed us, brother. Farrakhan. Right. Farrakhan has failed us, man. Because we're still in the same conditions, brother. That's why the Lord said, no man shall buy you. No man shall get you out of this slavery, but coming back to the law, statutes, and commandments as a Hebrew Israelite. Give me Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Bring that up. Make sense, brother?
Amen. Talking about Amen. Yeah, we use those terms. That's in, in the book of Psalms. It says a lot, a lot, right? right? Things like that. Yep. Bring that up. Deuteronomy yeah, 10 and 12. Time right. brother give it to you. Right? Bring it up. And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul. To keep the commandments of the Lord. To do what? To keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes, which I command this day for thy good. So you got to keep the commandments, brother. You poor. Give me Leviticus 11 and 7. 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 Leviticus 11 and 7. Let's see what God said about that pork chop, brother. Bring it up. Let's see what the Most High said about that bacon in the morning, brother. Bring it up. Leviticus 11 and 7. And a swine. And a what? And, and a, a swine. swine. Swine is pig. Read on. Though he divide the hoof. So you got to divide it hoof. Read on. And be cloven for it. He has a cloven foot. Read on. Then he chews not to cut. He doesn't properly digest his food. That's right. Right? Read on. He is unclean to you. He is what? He is, he is unclean, unclean to you. Is the pig? He is, he is unclean, unclean to you. So the pig is unclean to you, brother. Read on. Of their flesh shall you not eat, and their country shall you not touch. They are unclean to you. So you can't eat pig, brother. That's what God said. This is the dietary law, Leviticus, the 11th chapter. What else can you eat? Keep reading on. Verse 9. These shall you eat of all that are in the waters. Whatsoever have fish scales in the waters, and the seas, and the rivers, them shall you eat. So everything that come out of the water, that have fins and scales, God said you can eat it. But it can't have one without the other. That's right. It can't okay. have scales and no fins. That's it can't right. have fins but no scales. Okay. It got to have both fins and scales. Right? Read on. And all that have not fins and scales. All that have not fins and scales. Read on. And the seas and the rivers, and all that move in the waters, and of any living thing which is in the waters, they shall be an abomination unto you. They shall be a what? They, they shall be an abomination, abomination unto you. They shall be an abomination to you. Everything that come out of the water that don't have fins and scales, such as crab, shrimp, lobster, mussels, oysters, clams, it's all an abomination, brother. You can't eat it. Oh, you can't eat catfish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't eat catfish. Right. Bring it up. Verse 11. Right. They shall be even an abomination unto you. Right. You shall not eat of their flesh, but you shall have their carcass in abomination. You can't touch their dead carcass. You understand? So if you eat these unclean things, brother, you got to repent. Don't right. eat it no more. You got to ask the most high for forgiveness and forsake your sins. Right? Okay, now also, give me Leviticus 21 and 5. Leviticus 21 to 5. Uh, they should not make baldness upon their head. Right, you can't make baldness upon your head. You can cut your head low, but you just can't cut it bald. You can't shave your head with right. a razor. You can't do that, brother. Right, you got to grow what you can grow. Read on. Neither shall they, ha it's like neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. See that? Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. So you're keeping that low. You can't shave off the corner of your beard. Bro, you gotta grow it all out too, bro. You can't be cutting the bottom and you gotta grow everything out, bro. Yeah, don't be a fool like me. I don't think I'm gonna have a type of suit. I'm it's for real. You know, for don't a minute. don't no, be like that. You gotta like grow his beard out. You gotta keep looking at it. Come on, Show me a little love with that, though. <laughs> right. All right, give me, give me uh, numbers 15 and 37. All right? So grow your hair out, grow your beard out. Don't eat no more pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster. Bring this up. Keep the commandments, basically. Basically. Keep the commandments, keep the faith. Numbers keep the 15 faith, and 37. The huh? And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel. You, the child of Israel, read them. And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. Brothers got on fringes in the borders of their garments. Throughout, your, throughout their generations. Throughout their generations. So you got to get them fringes on your clothing, brother. On your shirts, on your jackets. You can even put some on your pants if you want to. Read on. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. That's why the brothers got on the ribbon of blue when they fringe us. The ribbon of blue. You gotta have that ribbon of blue. Not ribbon of red, not ribbon of green, purple, orange. 
Guy had that ribbon in the blue, brother. Read on. And it shall be up to you for a fringe. They may look upon it. You may do what? They may look upon oh, it. They may look upon your fringes. Read on. And remember all the commandments of the Lord. Do what? And remember, remember all, all the, the commandments, commandments of, the of the Lord. Remember all the commandments of the Lord. Right? So this is a physical reminder to keep the commandments. Right? So you see some pork chop, you smell some pork chop, you want pork chop? You gotta look down at your friends and be like, nah, man, I can't eat that pork chop, man. You see them, them crab legs, man? You gotta look at your friends and be like, nah, I can't do that. I gotta keep the dietary law, so on and so forth. See that? So you gotta keep the commandments, brother. Get out of here, man, but I appreciate y'all knowledge, man. What's your name, Shalom? Shalom. All brains. All brains. We went tribe. Right? What tribe? I don't know what tribe. I've been in Jamaica four times, so I'm just going with the Benjamin Jamaica. Well, what's your father? Is he Jamaican? No, my head African American. Okay. Are you from the tribe of Judah? So you were Israelite from the tribe of Judah, brother. See that? Same tribe from Christ. That's right. Same tribe as Christ. Hamashiach Yahawashah. That's his real name, Yahawashah. That's in the Hebrew. Because the letter J was just invented in the 1600s. His real name is Yahawashah, and God's name is Yahweh. See that? Here you go, bro. How often y'all We out here every Friday and Saturday. Right. Right. Yeah, because it's a music CD, Hebrew Israelites. Yeah. Try it there, man. Y'all, y'all, any y'all from here? I know, I see you around here. You are the child. I used to be in Detroit all the time. Where I know you from? Wayne State, everybody know you. I know you. You can't remember. You probably seen us at the transit center. We used to teach y'all did too. Transit center, no. I know him before you never saw. I know his face. I know that smile. If you see me, you see him. You see him and him. You see him. All over, we from all over, man. We got brothers in DC, Baltimore, New York, Cali. I mean, like, the front here. Blood, 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 brother. Brothers by the spirit, you know okay. what I'm saying? Okay, brothers by the spirit. Yeah, I gotta go. That's right. Brothers by the spirit the of the most high. Nine times five years. Okay. You understand? So, we always out, brother. You just gotta repent. Uh, Ain't no disrespect or nothing like that. We ain't out here to fight or get get like that. You but you still got to keep them commandments, brother. And we can't judge you. Dog, you do you know why I came back here, man? I saw some brothers out here trying to keep it, trying to say this and that. I've been solo for 40 years. Right. 40 years solo. Preachers, this and that, keep them around, this and that. I saw some brothers. I came here. I ain't like when you came at me. But I'd rather been around you. If you get what I'm saying. Because it's the Sabbath. Preaching on the Sabbath, I'd rather been around you. Because you know the story a lot, right? Yep. Old righteous lot in that wild and crazy environment <laughs> for a long time. Yep. That's right. Give me Zephaniah 2. Salakia, yeah. let me get up out of here. All right, King. Yep. Right, 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 no disrespect to none of y'all, man. Right, no disrespect to none of y'all. Shut the wall. Shut the wall.